chickers, ticks, and mosquitoes. All right, y'all ready to mm, Yeah, that makes you scratch. It? We're going to have to make sure that Dr. Nally pays attention as well, because I know you like to hike and camp and things like yeah, that. So you might little... Little woodland creatures. Little, little, little creatures, like right? Tag along. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. You know, the best thing I can say is DEET. You huh. know, insect okay. repellent, use DEET. Uh, there's been studies uh, uh, comparing the different concentrations uh, of DEET, which are more effective. And one I saw had 15% was the most effective. You can get the deep woods or the <laughs> right. most of some of them, they're a 50% active ingredient. Um, I don't really think that's necessary. You know, the weaker formulations will do just as good a job, but you do want at least 15% deep. Uh, use that. Um, uh, also, uh, permanone, uh, some of the pyrethrins mm. uh, 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 are okay for use on your equipment, your boots, your clothes, okay, uh, not on your skin. You don't put those on your skin. Okay. Uh, but uh, that, I really, as a turkey hunter, I really like uh, to see a tick crawl onto my pants leg and die. <laughs> I enjoy it while I'm sitting there waiting on the oh, turkey okay. to come yeah. to me. I enjoy yeah. seeing that tick crawl up on my pant leg and just kind of roll over and <laughs> all eight of his little legs yeah. you know, kick. But, uh, you know, in a yard situation, oh, and I go to Red Book, Red sure, Book sure. 2017, and uh, we have some really, really good information. Some of the same insecticides uh, do a, a, a good job of uh, in, in a landscape situation in your home mm -hmm. will help take care of them even though I know a tick is not an insect hmm. I'm not right. sure that a chigger is yeah, I don't know about the chigger that's a good question uh, yeah. I know that a mosquito is an mm -hmm. insect mm -hmm. so fortunately insecticides work on all of these now you yeah. know an immature tick only has six legs uh, so you can, to say that all ticks, an adult tick has eight legs, uh, but just because it has six legs, the immature is not an insect. It's still not an right. insect, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, but I'm looking at uh, ticks, and I'm looking at chiggers, and I wonder if mosquitoes may have something. I'm, what, I'm, what I'm looking for is to see if the same insecticide will uh, take care of them. Of course, they will, will not. Uh, I do see that for ticks and chiggers, it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, and, and, and you can treat your yard with a labeled insecticide every four to six weeks as needed. And if you have problems, I do, I live out in the woods, mm -hmm. and so I have problems with chiggers and ticks. Oh, chiggers mm -hmm. are tough, man. I yeah. don't yeah, treat my yard, mm -hmm. I use the insect repellents. But if, I, if, you know, if you were having a party and, and, and if you wanted to treat your yard, you could. Okay. Cyfluthrin and beta cyfluthrin are insecticides that are, are labeled for use to control chiggers. Uh, ticks, bifenthrin, beta cyfluthrin, permethrin, lambda cyhalothrin, you know, there are a few more that are labeled uh, to, to put out in your yard to control uh, ticks and chiggers. Uh, some of the comments about that, and I, I'll go to mosquitoes okay. a little bit later, yeah. but some of the comments, uh, uh, you know, for chiggers, uh, they mow your lawn regularly. That goes without saying. Remove weeds and brambles mm -hmm. from fence rows. Uh, and it stresses that you use commercial repellents around your ankles and waist for personal protection mm -hmm. because they, you know, they'll get in you know, yeah. where they're, close, you're yeah. exposed. Yeah. Uh, apply deep repellent to your skin and then the, the uh, insecticide, the permanone to your shoes, cuffs. And you, you can apply these to your socks and things like that before you put them on and wait, but you need to wait at least two hours before you put them on to allow the wow. okay. fire to dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, the sure. product yeah. needs to dry. Right. Uh, on, the, on the ticks, uh, that was about chiggers. Ticks, it basically it mow the lawn and control weeds. You know? Okay. Uh, and, and, uh, uh, you, you, if you lower the moisture in the grass microclimate, it allows sunlight to penetrate, which tends to cause ticks to dry out. You know? okay. So, you know, I live in the woods, habitat so that's why, that's why I have ticks. Yes. Right. Exactly. Modify exactly. the habitat. Exactly, my goodness. Yeah. Um, again, same, same, exact same uh, uh, instructions about DEET, apply DEET to skin and the, the insecticide to your shoes and and things like that. For the so tick. treat for ticks and chiggers, ticks. you, you okay. pretty much treat the same way. And I tell you what, there, there's been more news stories about ticks this summer 
you know. Well, they could be dangerous. Yes. You know, there are several diseases that they carry. Mm -hmm. And increasing. You know, and yes. We're seeing right. some yeah. new incidences. And, and probably uh, uh, part of that is probably because the diagnosis is probably better now than it yeah. is. Because I've, mm -hmm. I've, I have friends who had problems and, 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 and years later they said, oh, well, that had to be a tick bite. Right. You know, that's mm -hmm. why I was sick for so long. Right. I had all the right. problems. Yeah. And, and uh, so, yeah, you need to try to keep them from getting you. They yeah. sure like to feed on us. They, 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 they definitely do. And I own uh, Carol Reese, you know, some years ago at a tick bite. Right. Um, mm -hmm. She have spotted fever? Or she has spotted fever. Spotted, spotted fever. fever. Yeah, right. She sure did. She right. sure did. Now, mosquitoes, they are insects. And uh, uh, they, you know, they like to stay in shrubbery and, and, and they generally will come out, you know, late in the day or early in the morning. They kind of, I guess, crepuscular yeah. in nature, but I, they'll come out at any time they're hungry, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, they, I would agree out. with that. <laughs> but there is, uh, if you have uh, uh, water and uh, standing water pools or ponds or anything like that, there is a Bacillus thuringiensis, a BT, that you mm -hmm. can put in, in there that will feed on mosquito larvae. And I would you know, encourage you mm -hmm. to do that because mm -hmm. it doesn't hurt any beneficial insects and, mm -hmm. and doesn't create any problems. It, I think mosquito bits is one of the trade names. Mosquito dunks yeah. is another Maybe trade those, name for right. the BT. Yeah. Uh, methoprene uh, also uh, uh, is a insect growth regulator type thing that will mm. prevent them from molting and, and prevent them from, from uh, maturing. Uh, but that's in standing water. If you have standing water that you don't need, don't <laughs> do that. Right. Right. I have standing water right. in many yeah. you know, and I, I, People with horses, for example, that have horse troughs. Right. Right. You know, uh, if you're out there taking care of those horses every day, you know, you don't need a big horse trough. Just have enough from drink water so that you can pour it out, give them fresh water every point. day, you know, mm -hmm. and, and pour it out every day because it takes, I think, what, three days for the yes, life cycle three days. or something it is. like that. And, and if you don't, don't let water stand over three days, you, you shouldn't have that problem. But uh, the pyrethrin sprays for outside your buildings, uh, they're available as an aerosol or a fogger, mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. uh, resmethrin. Uh, you can uh, malathion. I'm not sure what the... Uh, uh, municipal governments are using now. For years, they use malathion. It's what they when the truck right, drives around. Right, comes by and, the neighborhoods. And uh, yeah. and I don't know whether they still use that or not. But it uh, again, it works well to control mosquitoes. You, uh, you can apply those types of things. Uh, malathion, permethrin, and other pyrethroids can be applied to vegetation on the perimeter of your property, and uh, that uh, will kill the adults. The adults feed on nectar during the day, mm -hmm. and then I don't know. Then they get bloodthirsty. <laughs> late in the day and then come out. And they come out. Uh, and, most, and most of those pretty much, you know, hang around plant material. You know, the foliage of the plants, the underside, mm -hmm. yeah, especially the ones that are in the shade. Yeah. You know, Good protection. Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm flipping down through here. Uh, unclogged gutters. You know, gutters can hold water, so yeah. make sure your gutters yeah. are unclogged. Uh, empty bird baths. Yeah. You know, we don't just Standing leave that water, water there for long. You know, the birds like fresh water too, just like the horses do. Yeah, right. And you know, a lot of common sense, but a lot of DEET, a lot of insect repellent, and, and continue to go outside, enjoy the outdoors. You know, the fresh air is still better outside than inside. That's right. Yeah, we want you to enjoy the great outdoors, but do be careful. It's worth right. the hassle. That's correct. Yeah. Appreciate that. Good stuff. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.